we're going to do the kitchen on a budget. This is a huge project. Are you going to property bro, is it? Oh, nice! And cut. <laughs> Good morning, we're in the process of a huge renovation and today we're gonna to jump straight into the kitchen where we made a mistake. But more on that later. Now I'm gonna show you what the kitchen looked like before we even moved in. And if you're new here, I'm Emily. Hi, welcome. Stick around for home renovations, reviews, shopping and vlogs. So let's take a look in the kitchen. So the cupboard on the left is the boiler. That's important because I'll come back to that later. This is the kitchen. I love the view out into the garden. It's a south facing garden. So the kitchen gets a lot of natural light. The utility room is a good size and nicely located just off the kitchen. We just wish there was more room and storage in the kitchen, but we're gonna change that. So keep watching. So I have to tell you, because you're gonna see this video halfway through and think, why did you take the cabinets out? Why did you do all of that to the kitchen? Well, the kitchen wasn't exactly how I showed you on the video. That was before we moved in. When we actually moved in, the fridge freezer and the door that was on the built-in fridge freezer was removed by the owners. We had nowhere to put our freestanding fridge freezer because it was larger than the fridge that was there. The hob, and oven and microwave needed replacing. Um, there was lots of things that meant that the kitchen wasn't actually functional anyway. So we had to do something. In this kitchen series, you're gonna see a whole kitchen renovation on a budget. And it's gonna be really interesting to see how the kitchen changes. It's going to be completely uplifted and there's gonna be something's going on with some walls as well so it's yes definitely different we did make a few mistakes along the way we did change a few things around which you'll see as you watch these videos so let's go into the removal of the cabinets which was definitely a learning curve for me <laughs> and we're going to take the kitchen units out which are behind me hopefully today got some jobs in some other rooms as well to do like skirting and coving so we'll see time wise but really hoping we can get a lot of that out so i'm gonna get changed and i'll be back in a minute come the on. doors have been taken off and my dad's come in and helped with um helped with he has disconnected that's the word i'm looking for he's disconnected the electrics because i had lighting underneath the cabinets here and then up here they had lighting as well um, and obviously the cooker hood was connected up so I don't want to take any of that down while that's still connected obviously for safety reasons so he's just come in and disconnected all of that and then show me how to take the kitchen out so I'm gonna attempt it and see how we go change plan because someone else needed the steps so I'm now sat on the worktop <laughs> Screwdriver, be right back. Bigger screwdriver. There we go. So we're gonna keep these because we should be able to reuse them. They just connect the cabinets together. Take this out. Which is the caps. So in theory, I think. That's where I've been briefed. I think I need to remove this, then these two, and then this cupboard should come out. Am I missing something? I feel like I'm missing something. <laughs> Let's just go for it. I feel like there's so much talking and not much doing at the moment. So let's get it, get it down. Also the skip's being collected tomorrow, so we want to put the kitchen in the skip, so. So I really would not want to break anything here going on. <laughs> so hopefully you're safe over there and nothing falls down. <laughs> I didn't think that was working. 
working and it's working. And if you're enjoying this video so far, do us lovely things like and subscribe. And hit that bell notification so you're notified of when the next renovation video comes out. Oh. It's off. So obviously <laughs> the cupboard hooked onto there and I didn't realize, so I just needed to push it up and then pull it off. We'll try and get this one off. Actually, I think I'm gonna have to take this off first. Okay, I know what I'm doing now. Thanks for sticking with me, I got this. Got the steps. Come on then, out you two go. I'm gonna take the top off right now. Let me just stop this now. Hold it. Oh, nice! Like light the help there. Definitely think I needed it. It's an easy job to take these screws out. <laughs> So I've just taken all the screws out. I did a quick reel, which is on my Instagram. So if you want to see more renovation, check out my Instagram. I'll add a link below and pop it just here somewhere down here. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, hit the like and subscribe button and the bell notification so you can be notified. Oh, when my next video comes out. So I'll just take this bracket off and then we've just got one more to go and then this wall is going to be clear. Ooh. See all the wall units behind me are off. We're gonna take that one down tomorrow because the drill is being used elsewhere. So you need to get another drill, or we'll just leave it to tomorrow. Um, obviously, skip's not quite full, but it's being collected tomorrow. So you can only do as much as you can do. So I'll show you what the kitchen looks like at the moment. We think these are actually boards, so they're not individual tiles, which will be awesome if they are, because that's going to come off really easily. <laughs> Fingers crossed, she says that. Um, obviously it's all electrics behind there as well, so. It's going to come off easier than it would if they were individual tiles. That will come out eventually, but not yet. And then hoping to take that one down tomorrow. So we still have the sink over there and then we do have like a kitchen area over there which we're leaving for the moment um, because that's where we're kind of like using the microwave, using the toaster, using the kettle over there. So that will stay for a little bit um, but do want to get some more of that kitchen cleared tomorrow. So 
today. Ta -da! <laughs> it's gone because the skip was being collected today and I had to stop filming and just get it out really fast. He was really nice and said, is there anything else? So he like stopped and then when we got it outside, helped us get into the skip. <sighs> we did so well. <laughs> so yeah, that was out too. And we have our first full skip gone. First of all, skip at this house, gone. We also moved the boiler from the kitchen into the utility room. Um, if you've watched any of our home renovation videos before, you probably already know that when we moved in, the boiler was not working. We didn't know that at the time. We got it tested. Yes, completely written off. So we had to have a brand new boiler as one of the first jobs. <laughs> Um, and we got that installed in the utility room rather than kitchen to free up some more space in the kitchen. And I realise I don't know how much of an update I've given on the kitchen. So I've taken all cabinets down, taken some of the tiles down, four tiles high <laughs> along here. We've filled the wall in and we're going to paint it. We gave it a paint of this like uh, magnolia colour and we're going to give it a paint of... Farrell and Ball Estate Emulsion number 274. I'm going to give it a fresh coat of paint and we're putting a new hob in. Oh, we're also going to put a new sink in as well. New sink, new tap in as well. We were going to do a complete renovation of the kitchen, but with so many rooms to tackle, we're now going to uplift the kitchen as a temporary measure to get us through. Our biggest mistake was taking the cupboard doors off. If we knew what we know now, we would have left them and given them a coat of paint. But hindsight is a wonderful thing, isn't it? So we're just trying to make this room functional and nicer before we renovate it completely. This is a huge project, the kitchen. Um, we put our oven in already. So we've got a new oven to go in and just a few things like that. So we can actually live, work, live here. <laughs> And now to get painting. So no hop and as if by magic. So the hop doesn't fit in because it's too big. We're going to have to cut some off the work top. <laughs> and then this is the walls painted way, way better. Happier with that over there. Again, it's, uh, it's a work in progress. It was a little bit like a building site, especially over there the utility room is but if i stand at the door and look out i'm like yeah this looks better also got some um paint brushes got to wash up and then we've got the sink to go in tap to go in so that's all out over there so underneath the sink is free so we'll be able to put that in as well but a five minute job has turned into Possibly half an hour, if not longer, because we don't know where the jigsaw is. Hmm. Fun times. So good news, we did manage to fit the hob in the end and the sink and the tapper in. So we do have a hot water tap in now, which I absolutely love. It's so convenient and it actually uses up less energy than a kettle does. The wine cooler beer fridge here. Um, this is probably going to go more than likely going to go, but we're going to leave it there for the moment. It gives us extra work top space. So this is downstairs in the hallway. Um, this is currently the kitchen door. It's not very big. It's not a standard size door and we're going to take it out. This wall is going to come down. So really excited for the demolition of the wall. 
maybe we can do it kind of like property brother style big hammer let's get this wall down but it might not work like that so as you can see there's a lintel in above the door so we've knocked out a hole on the top we've got a lintel in and there's going to be double doors there which is going to look amazing hopefully so where the pink purple sharpie line is is where the door is going to go so it's going to go from there all the way to there so we have a beautiful set of black glass panelled double doors going from the hallway into the kitchen and tomorrow the rest of that wall is coming out so it's exciting obviously the light switch is also going to be moved because that light switch is currently for the kitchen so the light switch is going to go inside of the kitchen hopefully that made sense and i'll show you what the doors look like before they go in all right yeah go for it Are you going to property bro, is it? So as you can see behind me, the door is off and the wall has been opened out. Are you ready to see it? Look at that. It's so much bigger. It's just amazing. I love it. And then you're just gonna have double doors into the kitchen and you can see all the way out into the garden as well. Amazing. We're going to do the kitchen on a budget and we're going to get some storage sorted. We are going to put the doors in, which I'm really excited to see. Um, obviously when the hallway gets plastered, then the doors are going to go in. And yeah, we're going to get this a bit more organized, a bit more sorted. So it feels like we have a kitchen again. I'm going to unpack the Ikea parcel. So I don't know if you remember before, but going from the kitchen into the utility room, this is where we're going to put extra shelving in here. Um, just got this whiteboard as well. So I love organization. Um, it's just amazing because you got all the days of the week, a whole month view of what's going on. It's a monthly planner. And then across here, you can make some notes for next month as well. So you can be really organized and just see at a glance what's going on on each day, which is very handy. So I got this from Amazon, I'll link it below if you're looking for something similar, um, would recommend. We did buy one before this one and it was just kind of like you stuck it on the wall and it just wasn't that good, good quality. So this one you just attach to the wall in the corners, just nail it in and um, it's quite thick as well. So I'm really impressed with that. Once we've finished putting the shelves up, then I can actually write on it. Also got this weekly planner as well, weekly meal planner. That was from Amazon, that's very useful too. I'll give you a little bit of a tour. So we've got the whiteboard here, we've got brand new boiler that we had installed because the boiler did not work. We've got an extra freezer and we've got a wash machine and tumble dryer, I can't remember what it's called for a second then. Uh, wash machine is LG, that's new. I'll do a review video at some point because again, that is amazing had one of those when I was in Australia as well and it's so handy because you can do extra things on the app with it as well which is very useful and so I'm going to put Ikea shelves here so we can empty some more of the boxes from the kitchen and just get a little bit more organized and then I'm going to also not today but sort out the cupboards too so let's get unboxing the Ikea
I like their little pictures like, hey, you need you need a building buddy, not just not just a solo build. Um, again, I'll link um, everything below. Okay, that's everything unwrapped. Ooh. Okay. Where to put things? <laughs> Watch out! Um, so that's everything unwrapped. Good job it's recycling day tomorrow. It wasn't too bad. They actually brown paper wrapped these, which I thought was really good rather than putting them in boxes. Okay. Look professional. Okay, they build a side and then they tip it over. One, two, three, four. And it goes, and the nails go, and the dowels go. Done. Okay. I got a little peg that you have to pull out. So we've done the sides. Might be a screwdriver job. Pegs have been saved and they're going in. Okay, and then the shelf just sits on the top. Need to get some more shelves in. Is it clicked in? Yeah. Yeah. So the shelf is up. It's just one key because it needs attaching to the wall, which my fabulous assistant will do later. <laughs> it's now up and it's very sturdy. And we've got these baskets as well. I thought they were going to be more like baskets, but they're like under under the shelf shelves. So I'm not sure what we're going to put in there, but we'll see. Do you have any suggestions for what we can put in here? Or do you have them yourselves and you're like, oh yeah, we use them for this. Let me know below. We've also got this, which was also from Ikea. So we just put cutlery in there at the moment. It's a work in progress. So you've seen part one of renovating the kitchen. To see part two, check out my video next week. If you're watching this and part two is already out, I'll pop it up here. In the meantime, check out home renovation videos. I've got a whole playlist so you can catch up on everything that's happening with the house. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.